Coach O, the college football playoff committee says the LSU Tigers are the number one team in the land. First, what's your reaction to them naming you guys number one? You know, we're happy to be in the playoffs. And uh, anywhere, anytime, anybody, we're ready to go. I know it just happened, so you haven't studied Oklahoma a lot yet, but just a general view of what they do and what they do well. Obviously dynamic, uh, great. Uh, we played against Jalen Hurst before, great football player, great on offense. Their defense has improved. Lincoln Riley has done a great job. They have great athletes. They prepare well. It's going to be a hell of a challenge. You noted facing Jalen Hurts before. It was right across the street from where we're standing. You're an interim head coach. He's a true freshman. And, and – he played extremely well that night. What does he do well that can change a game? Well, from what I remember, he extends plays with his feet. He's like a big tailback that, right there. He moves well, can throw the ball well. He's an excellent quarterback. You're going right back to Atlanta, Georgia, where we just were last night. What's the comfort level in that building since you've been there before? Yeah, well, it was our first time for a lot of guys. Obviously, we did well. Uh, they'll know that they feel comfortable going there. We'll have a great practice plan, and we, we'll, be, we'll be ready to play. How do you describe what this opportunity is for the state of Louisiana? It's a phenomenal opportunity. I'm so happy for all the players that played here before, for all the ex-Tigers, for everybody who puts in all the hard work and the great state of Louisiana. Uh, last night, Grant Delpit told me that Joe Burrow was the reason you guys are the number one team in the country. How do you define what Joe's done this season and why will he win the Heisman? Phenomenal, but he's surrounded by a great offensive line. Clyde edwards alaire has had a great year. His receivers had a great year. He's well coached, but I do believe he's the best player in the country. Last thing, what is this team's goal right now? Win the next game. What is this team's goal right now? Win the next game. Okay, go ahead, say it. Go Tigers. Have a great day. Thank you, sir, congratulations. Lincoln, you lose to Kansas State on October 26. Suddenly your playoff chances seem like a long shot. How did you convince your team it still had a chance? We've lived this story before. Uh, you know, and we know the quality of league we play in. We knew the quality of team that we had in that locker room and knew that if we could improve on the things that we need to improve on, coaches, players, everybody, and, and go on a run that, that we could give ourselves that opportunity. And our focus at that point was just, you know, look, if we don't win, we're not going to have a chance anyway. So let's just focus on each week getting better, find a way to win each and every week, and then try to set, put yourself in position to win the Big 12 championship. And I'm proud of our guys for being able to do that. A year ago, Jalen Hurts is leading Alabama to an SEC championship and a spot in the playoff. A year later, he does it for you guys, winning the Big 12 championship and getting you a spot in the playoff. Why is Jalen built for these kind of moments? It'll be a good 30 for 30, won't it? Um, just because of who he is, how much he puts into it. I mean, he's a very talented player that's done a lot for our program, certainly in a short amount of time. Probably, uh, probably misunderstood in some ways. I think, I think what he's done this year has, has gone uh, very underappreciated. You know, it's it's. Uh, how hard it is to do it with so many new pieces at a new place and to play the way he has, you know, leading our team uh, to a championship. Just, I'm proud he's on our team. I know that. All right. Thank you for the time. All right. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more scores, highlights, and analysis, you can download the ESPN app. You got the ESPN app, right? I, I, honestly, on Saturdays for college football fans, if you don't have the ESPN <laughs> app, that's the lifeline for every college football fan. So you have to have that. The live streaming now, ESPN Plus, to me, it's the only way to go. ESPN Plus was key for me recently. Got to get ESPN <laughs> Plus. Arkansas State, Troy, down to the wire. Loving Super it. Superdog winner. Thanks to ESPN Plus.